Hi YouTube friends, welcome. Join me because today we're making a paracord bracelet and we're doing it in the Mad Max style and we're making it with a closure that stays tight once you do it up. This one is going to require two pieces of paracord. This one here is one meter and this one is 190 centimeters. Start off with your shorter piece of paracord and first find the center and then just place that over your index finger and fold it around the back and then pinch it in between your index finger and middle finger. So you should have this little tongue here down the bottom and we're going to reach up through that loop and pull those two strands through. Now I just want to separate these two at the top and we're going to take the strands around the back and down through that loop again. And we just want to make sure that all of our strands are nice and parallel at the front and also at the back. And then we can start to tighten this up. So just take your middle finger out first. Tighten those coils around your index finger. And then you can gently remove it from your index finger and we're going to replace The index finger with these cords and they're going to run straight through the center there. So as you remove that, feed these right through the middle and then tighten this prussic up against these two strands. So just roll the prussic as you pull on these bottom strands and it should tighten. So once you have your prussic tight, we just want to make sure that these strands here run nice and parallel and don't cross. And then we can continue. Once you get to this stage, grab your other piece of paracord and also find the center. And then place it behind and just below that prussic. And then we're just going to tie a series of cobra knots. So bring that left strand over the two centers. And then your right strand over that behind and up through that left loop. Pull that tight. Then continue with the right hand strand, take that over the two center strands, left strand over that and then behind and up through the right loop. Left strand over the two center strands right strand over that and then behind and up through the left loop right strand over left strand over that one and then behind and up through the right loop and then continue that pattern all the way around the bracelet. Once you've worked your way around and get to the end, 
we just need to cut and singe these excess pieces so grab a pair of scissors cut off the excess close to the knot and singe it off with a lighter and just press that flat so it doesn't pull back through the knot and repeat for the other side so once you've cut the ends the next stage is just to measure this out against the widest part of your hand so that you know you can get the bracelet on and off and then once you've found that spot just make sure that these legs here are an even length and then at that spot here we can tie a stopper knot so you can just pinch that off and I'm going to tie a double connection knot you can tie whatever knot you like here it's going to form a loop feed the end through that loop and then close it down Next I'm going to grab my other strand, take it over the back to the front side and then through both loops. Then I'm going to switch strands, tighten the first knot down and then switch strands and tighten the second knot down over the first so it forms an X. and it should have an X over the other side too and then we can just firm this knot right down and then just check it against your wrist again quickly or over your hand so you know you can take it on and off and then we can cut and singe these excess pieces here so I've gone ahead and trimmed up the excess here and you'll find that when you put the bracelet on and do it up that it'll stay nice and firmly in place won't come loose and to undo it you just need to grab the prussic and then pull directly along the cord length there So that's it. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you supporting the channel. I like you all and I'll see you on the next video.